Okay, we're about to make chloroform. Yep, the same stuff that uh, they used to use, sometimes even in movies, to put people to sleep. And all you need is bleach. You can see great value. So that came from Walmart and acetone. And you can get acetone, gosh, almost anywhere. Um, nail polish remover, a lot of that's just acetone. Um, this bleach is 7.5%, and that matters uh, as far as the acetone goes. And you can see here it's 3.57 or 3.6 liters. So this is the right ratio. It's a lot of bleach and only a little acetone. But the way these two react, um, that's what you need to do. Uh, in order to end up with the best byproduct of chloroform in the end. So we're going to take our bleach right here. You're going to have to remove a little bit of the bleach to start because you're going to add 100 milliliters of acetone to your bleach. And it will start to react right away. So we're going to put that in there like that. Okay. Done. After mixing the acetone in the bleach, this got really hot and it off gassed quite a bit so the cap was loose uh, it's still pretty warm but I'm going to pour off the top portion which would be mostly water and salt believe it or not um, and uh, we're going to get rid of most of that right now you can see it's steaming a little bit out of there we just want the last bit which we'll put in the separatory funnel which will contain the chloroform as the chloroform sits on the bottom of this. Hard to tell exactly how much is left here, but that's gotten pretty full. So we'll call it quits right there. All right, we'll put the rest in the separatory funnel, which is sitting right over there. So I just poured what was in the uh, bleach gallon in here into the separatory funnel and you can already see it separating nicely right there so everything above that is basically water with salt mixed in it and uh, down here is the chloroform uh, it's not 100 percent pure yet there's quite a bit of water in it so we'll have to go through a couple more steps but uh, there you have it there's a the chloroform i'm now making the uh, saturated salt solution so there's 250 mls in here and salt dissolves 0.36 grams per ml so there's 250 and multiplied it by 0.36 and we get 90 grams of salt so and that's at room temperature right around 22 23 degrees celsius which we have 23.2 celsius so we should be good here to dissolve all of this in here and this will be poured into the mixture of bleach and acetone which is making chloroform just to wash out any water that still might be in the chloroform. It won't get it all, but it'll get a lot of it. All right, we'll just let this dissolve as it gets mixed. I drained the bottom layer out of the separatory funnel here, which is a chloroform. And at this point, I emptied out all of the other solution that was above it. I need to pour this back in here. Careful not to breathe too much of that. So we have chloroform now sitting at the bottom. To get some of the water out, we're going to use a super saturated solution of salt, which we made earlier, and we're going to pour that in here and let them mix. And then at the end, pour out the chloroform, which will be at the bottom. So I'm going to do that now. Pouring in the salt solution. something right away that it cleared up as the salt took out water which was mixed in there I'm gonna shake it up good now and then we'll take out the bottom and that will be distilled to purify it that's the next step so I mixed the salt solution and uh, the chloroform by picking up the entire stand and shaking it around I didn't want to undo all the clamps and everything so it's all set you can see how much clear the chloroform is at the bottom um, and the salt solution is sitting at the top there, so we're going to now empty the chloroform into uh, this round bottom flask here.
Okay, and there we have our almost pure chloroform. It's still got a little water in it. Like I said earlier, we're going to distill it, uh, and I'll dispose of the salt solution there. To finish the chloroform, as I've said a couple times, we need to distill it. Um, and we made some calcium chloride earlier. It's been sitting around for a couple days, so I'm going to heat it up to make sure that it is uh, dried of any water before I put it in the chloroform. And as we distill the chloroform, the calcium chloride will absorb water out of it as it distills over. And uh, in the end, right there in that round bottom flask, we should have some pretty pure chloroform. All right. Here is the calcium chloride. It's been heating for a good, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. It should be pretty free of water by now. Uh, there's approximately 10 grams there, and I'm going to be next be adding it to here, which is our chloroform, uh, which will be connected to our distillation apparatus. The calcium chloride is now inside of the flask here, uh, and the reason we can use it is because it will not dissolve in chloroform. So it will stay as is, it can even be reused later, as the chloroform will come over uh, in the distillation the water will stay absorbed to the calcium chloride even though it won't become a liquid it just adheres to it uh, and then you can dry that later and reuse it so we've got our distillation set up we've got our water cold water coming through dripping into that bucket down there but it works so i'm gonna go ahead and heat it very gently because uh, chloroform uh, evaporates at a very low temperature we can already see early signs of boiling there but closely you'll see a few bubbles popping up even with the heat source this far below, which is a good six, seven inches below it. Um, and again, because chloroform boils, evaporates at such a low temperature. I had to raise the heat up higher than I thought I would um, to get it to a temperature that it was boiling, which it now is. And coming over nicely. That is probably 100% or 99.9% .9 pure chloroform coming over on that end right there. So that's our final product. You see the temperature is just below 60 degrees. So we're still bringing over, 61 degrees is the um, boiling point of chloroform. We're still bringing it over. So we are done because there is nothing left to come over basically. So there's our chloroform. One last peek at our calcium chloride. You can see it looks a little sludgy right now, and that's because it's holding onto the water <clears throat> that was in the chloroform. I'll be able to wash it out of there, dry it, and it will be good as new.